Hey everybody and welcome back to I Heart Board Games. I am Ronald. Today we are here playing some two player games. I'm here with my best friend Jesse. Hey! <laughs> and we're so excited to see all of you here. Thank you Melissa Sings for that raid. We heart you. Hey folks, welcome. See you coming for the raid. Raid! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to look at you too much because we're looking opposite. Oh, right. When I look at you, I look up. <laughs> you look away. So we'll fake it and look this way. Yeah, hey, Jesse. Hey, how's it going today? <laughs> hey, us. Uh, ketchup, tomato. Gigi Sutton. What's up, folks? All kinds of people. Hey, guys. Yeah, welcome to the stream. So what are we, we playing? What are we playing today, Ron? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> well, to start things off, we are going to sh be playing Haven by Red Raven Games. Ooh, very exciting! Yes. A present. I have a sure, surprise. You're a, pre a present. You're a present to schedule. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, not going to uh, keep looking that way. I'm going to keep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sub hack tabletop. Okay, so the designer of this game Welcome. is Alf Siegert. Alf Siegert. Alf Siegert. Um, Alf, and... like the alien? Alf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Hey, Whiskey Nick. Taryn Bune. Whiskey Nick. Hack Tabletop TV. What up? Yeah. Slivers, are you talking about gizmos? Yeah, he's talking about gizmos. Mm. We got it for you to schedule. I'm very excited. It's on the, <laughs> it's on the schedule already. <laughs> okay. Jenna, what surprise are you referring to? Are you also talking about gizmos? <laughs> um... <laughs> So this is what we're going to start with today. After we finish this game, we are going to be moving on to a giveaway, mm. which you can be involved in our giveaway and win if you right. live in the continental United States and you're here and you have some hearts. You don't know what hearts are? Punch in exclamation hearts and you can find out how many you have. Right. You'll be able to bet those to enter into the contest. And we're going to give that away live later today. I haven't seen her, uh, Jenna, so maybe that's why she hasn't shown it to me yet. Uh, but um, I'm sure after the, the stream is over, she'll come and hook me up. <laughs> Thank you. You like my beard? You oh, I maybe he's, he's talking of me. Oh, that's right. I forgot Wait, you is, that Jesse J, <laughs> is that Jesse J of former Jesse J, who now has a new name, Jesse J? Yeah, maybe. Oh, heck, tabletop. This is what we normally do. Right here. <laughs> Am I still looking the wrong way? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, but it's less obvious up there. So we're going to start with this we'll get right. uh, Red Raven <laughs> Games. Hey, Melissa Sings. We'll be seeing you later. Be around and chat later. Sweet. Awesome. Oh, she's got to go to work right now. So. <laughs> so Haven, this is a cool two-player game from Red Raven Games. In this game, one of us is the city. That's going to be Jesse who is coming in and encrimping on the forest people's way of life. Ah, uh, this is Fern Gully. So I'm the forest. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, kind of a conflict of two different um, ways of life, the city way and the forest life. Mm. And um, will we, uh, who will win? And, or will we just learn to live in harmony? Um, nope. Oh, cool. Awesome. Well, I'll check it out later, Jenna, as soon as Melissa shows it to me later. Um, I'm sure I'll, I'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, if we've never played this game before, uh, let us know if you've played it. Um, if you have, maybe you can give us some advice. But I did read the rule book and watch several videos. So, uh, we should Just be pretty prepare. good to go. This game takes 30 to 45 minutes to play. Once we're finished with this one, we'll move on to our giveaway game and yeah. our giveaway. So, um, in Which this I don't think game. It's a secret, but. It's not a secret. No, it's not a secret. But actually, we've already started the giveaway. It's right. Yeah. Oh, fancy. Yeah. Oh, so they only have that amount of time to... No, 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 that's giveaway? how long it's been running. It's it's oh. over whenever I shut it off. But. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, so if you want to join into the giveaway, what do, what do they have to do, Jesse? Explain, um, explain it. Exclamation point giveaway. Ooh, baby, which I believe... Thanks for the host. You can Thank buy you. tickets, uh, exclamation point ticket. Uh, and then the number of tickets you want to buy, which is not actual money, it's using hearts. So, um, yeah, so if you've been watching us for a long time, that means you probably have a lot more hearts than you think. And there's all the information everybody's typing in. Fantastic. So you'll want to push in exclamation point ticket and then a number, and that will buy the tickets that you want. Ooh, baby, 
You just make sure you live in the continental U.S. Yes, you hey, must live in the continental U.S. Stop hosting. Thank you. Thank you guys both for that host. That's so, so kind. <laughs> um, so everybody's checking how many hearts they have. Uh, how do you get hearts? You get hearts by being here. So Maybe Jesse J, you probably lost because you changed your name. <laughs> you changed your name a day too late. I don't. I mean, last time I saw you, I think you had just the other name, not Lost Boy. But so um, you can still earn some hearts today just by watching or yeah. you know getting yeah, bits and it. stuff like that will also get you hearts. Yeah. So, um, but we'll bring that up more whenever we bring up Bubby Pop. Yep. So that anyway. will be our next game we're going to play after this one. So, back to so I'm gonna go a little. I'm gonna give an explanation of how this game works. Um, we each have a super duper awesome uh, turn summary here, and it also tells us how we can earn points at the end of the game. Um, will someone with zero hearts be able to participate in the giveaway? In a matter of moments, you're gonna have hearts as long as you're watching. So yeah. um, I don't know what the increment of time is, but I know as you're watching, you gain hearts. It's all an automated system that I did not develop. So <laughs> it's whatever stream elements decided how to give out hearts. So for example, Power Ranger Jenna has 1,940 hearts. Mm -hmm. So she can buy tickets at 20 a piece. So she can buy, yeah. I don't know, somebody got a calculator. <laughs> yeah. So that tells you how many uh, tickets you oh, can purchase. Now I'm baffled who's number one. <laughs> you don't know who number one is? You? I don't After know. what I just saw. I don't, I'm not sure who number one might be. <laughs> we'll find out later. Find I know Melissa. Melissa is like number three. <laughs> she? <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, if you're a member of iHeartBoard Games, you cannot win. Isn't HeartBoard Games number one? No, no. I uh, I uh, made sure that we're not in it. Here, I'll show you. Oh, I was going to say it doesn't even We're matter. zero, yeah. Yeah, we're zero. Because I made sure we weren't eligible for that stuff. So that <laughs> so you, I don't know who it is. If you've bought the tickets, it doesn't like say anything to you that you've bought them. You just have bought them, and it, it doesn't it doesn't tell you. So you probably already have <laughs> some tickets. Mm -hmm. We discovered last time. Is there a way to see who has how many tickets or? Um, maybe. Let's see. Let's switch to the giveaway. Oh, see, there's one person so who has purchased entrance. fifty tickets. Yeah. Yeah. So that number will be changing as we go along. Yep. And yep. somebody's yep. going to take home a game with them. Or we're going to mail it to We're going to mail it to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's probably you, Jenna. I think you're the only one who's been buying tickets at this point. All right. So going on with Haven, uh, in this game, the city always goes first and the forest goes second. So Perfect. Jesse is going to do, uh, an, usually he would do two actions, but on the first turn, he's going to do just one of these actions. He can add a seeker. So... Adding a seeker, he can add one from his hand. That's what oh, these are. They have the horse. Well, his has not a horse. This is like a some kind of other animal. That's the giveaway game right there. Bubbly, bubbly pop. pop. Bub, bub, bubbly pop. By sync. <laughs> <laughs> so these are people, and they have different values on them. These values... Hey, it's Ranch Little hey, Michael. They're going to be added into these different areas. So if I decide to add one from this pile... Then I have to say whether I which of these I want to send it to, to begin with, mm -hmm. before I flip it over. So which one is this? Add a seeker. Mm -hmm. okay. So I can either take one from here. If I do, I declare where I want it to go before I reveal it. Mm -hmm. uh, Haven is not the giveaway game. Haven is just the game we're playing right now. The next game we play is Bubbly Pop. That's the one we're giving away. Bubbly Pop. It's on screen. Yeah. From quick, simple, fun games. Um. Yes. So <laughs> I have if to you pay take attention from to this here, I don't know how to. Play. If you take from here, <laughs> you are going to choose where you want to put it before you reveal this specific it. pile. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you could also choose one from your hand, and in that case, you'll be able to see what the value is before you lay it down, and you can put those face down and so that your opponent won't know what it is. Because you're the forest, you start off with two cards. I start off with one or something. We actually both we start off with these cards as well. You have one of each kind of offering Okay. that's in your hand, and you have also one of the Seekers. And since I'm a second player, I get also the, a lore card. Oh, okay. Um, so that's how, that's the starting hands. Um, 
So that's the first possible action is adding a seeker. Now, why would you want to do that? These are going to eventually um, be up for a contest okay. to see who has the best values on either side. And what you're trying to do is get as close to six as you can without going over. This is just the value of the top one. There's five sixes and sevens in and here. The face down shuffled? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you want to get as close to six as you can. And um, good luck. It says it won't let her buy any more. Is there a limit to how many tickets you can buy or something? I don't think there is. But uh, yeah. But for our international people, I'm going to be giving away a copy of a digital game later during Fields of Arl. So. Uh, okay. If you have Steam, that's all you need. <laughs> so, as for this, you want to get as close as you can to this without going over. Mm -hmm. You can go over during the game. It's just only whenever the contest is actually happening does it matter that you went over. If you went over during the actual contest... Awful fun! Awful fun! Thanks for that follow. We heart you. Thank you, awful fun. I'm not used to being this high up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're zoomed in a little bit more than usual. Um, so, like I was saying, you could put them face down. You could go over the six. It's no problem. Later, you can discard them and stuff and get under the six. As long as the contest is not going on in that moment, you're golden. Right. Once it actually gets to the point where we're going to be having the contest of these... You'll have them by then. Yeah, by the you time we get to that, yeah. that's going to be the third game we played today. You're going to definitely have some hearts by then. If you're yep. still here. Right, yeah. I mean, leave it on. Go yeah, just leave it on eat and... lunch or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> the first thing that's going to happen is anybody who busted over the six, they're going to remove all their cards. So they're not even going to be in the contest anymore. Busted over six, removes cards. Okay. The second thing we're going to do oh, right, because there's a the number on here. Mm -hmm. is right. we're going to have combat. Now, I'll just show you some cards because this sure. is so hard to explain without looking at them. Are they shuffled? or? Yeah, they're shuffled. I just didn't do a very good job of shuffling. Right, apparently. So you can shuffle yours some more. Yeah. So you'll also you'll see a number. That's the number that you're going to add together to get to the six. That is And then you also see some, <laughs> some weaponry. Okay. Uh -huh, the swords and stuff. Yeah. Yes. So yours are swords and mine are arrows. That's how we're going to have combat. Whoever has the higher value in these uh, symbols is going to win the combat. Okay. Then we're going to compare lore. The lore comparison is going to be the actual the numbers number. of the value. Okay. Um, if there is a tie in either of those cases, the tiebreaker is the person who has the most number of cards in that area. All right. If there's still a tie, the tiebreaker. I'll destroy Jesse. <laughs> the tie. Not likely. The tiebreaker for the combat is always the city, mm -hmm. and the tiebreaker for lore is always the forest. Okay. That's the second tiebreaker. First tiebreaker is number of cards. Okay. Okay, so we're going to shuffle these up a little better. <laughs> While I'm explaining, you can keep shuffling all the other stacks, because I probably sure. did a very good job of that's doing fine. that. That's fine, that's fine. So what's in this pile? I'm going to flip it since I'm shuffling it. Those are uh, the different okay. offerings, and there's also elements in there. Yeah. Those cards are going to end up going into the different pot, into the different stacks underneath the symbol that they go with. So the green leaf is going to go under leaf, et cetera, et cetera. And this is going to count towards the number of cards that you have in that in that row. Hmm. All right. You're always going to have at least one of these in hand. Ronald, move seats. I can't move seats. This is very, very particularly set up. <laughs> There's a bunch of cameras and all kinds of crazy stuff going on. One yeah. day when you're in Louisiana, you can come see how this is set up, but it's not. There's no moving. Sorry. Yeah, we're pretty um, locked in here. We have seat. Actually, if I just move like five inches, you won't be able to see me at all. Yeah. Um, prove it. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> okay, so that's the first action you can hey, do. You Take a say. card from here, put it face up, but you have to choose where you where you put it before you look at it. Or two, put one from your hand face down onto any of them. All right. Second, remove a seeker. This is when you discard one of your seekers. Okay. Take a seeker, face up or face down from one of the sacks, and put it in a discard pile. There's a discard pile under each one of these things. Take one of these, a discard it into a discard pile. Face down, you cannot look at your discard pile unless a game effect would allow you to. What would I want to remove a... Oh, to reduce my number. You went over, and now yeah. you get under. 
Okay. You cannot look at your discard pile unless a game effect would allow you to. Okay. The Can't next thing you can it. do <laughs> is play a lore card. Uh-huh. Um, you just do what it says on there. That's it. <laughs> yes, lore it card says, okay. Yep. Um, you don't play any offerings during this step. It says it right there. Do okay. The any. next thing, okay. draw two cards. So you can draw any combination of cards, but you must end with at least one of these kinds of cards. And some of them say play immediately. If you get one that says play immediately, you play it immediately. Really? And then you draw a replacement. <laughs> All right. If you get another play immediately, play it immediately and draw a replacement. Keep going right. till you get one that doesn't say that and you have at least one of these in hand. And then you already have you some of these. In one of these piles. The ones that say play immediately. Yeah. Yes. But it's still my choice, of course. Yeah. And it's not your choice. No. It's going to have a shape pile on it? it. Oh, it does. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that can. Well, it doesn't have a value on it, though, does it? Let's see. That's going to go into this pile. Yeah, but that's if gonna it go says. Into that pile. Oh, okay. They don't have values on them, they're just offerings. I'm going to shuffle these, but I just want to see. Oh, okay. There's the. Yeah. So that one would immediately go there. Okay. Some have two symbols. In that case, you can choose. Okay. All right. So the next thing is you're going to resolve. If a lore token has three of those things on it, then you're going to resolve it. So these are the lore tokens right here. Mm -hmm. If between both sides of the table, we have three offerings in any of these piles, they're going to get resolved left to right from the active player's perspective. Active player's perspective. Left to right. Okay. So if it's my turn and both of these need to be resolved, we're going to resolve green, then blue. It's my turn from here to there. Exactly. I love how Robert always tells us the rules so we understand the game, but you, the ones that sit at the table playing the game, don't understand it after he told you rules a hundred times. That's true. Well, we have a lot going on. <laughs> like, I'm, it's hard to focus because you're like, we're chatting with you guys, yeah. you know, and so we're, it's a fine ballet. It is. And, Ray, and Jesse's, still Jesse's also camera. like producing the show as well, so he's got all the cameras to deal with and lights and stuff. I have this fun thing to change cameras and stuff. One day, we'll, one day we'll do it behind the scenes feature yeah. of some kind and put it on YouTube. Oh, today when I walked in, one of the light panels fell down. So that was nice. fun. Nice. <laughs> You're like, what's a light panel? <laughs> Keep subscribed to that YouTube channel. One day you'll find out. Yeah. Okay, so then we're gonna we would go through all those steps I said earlier. Whoever has the most weapons is going to get to place a shrine. The shrine are these tokens, which are double-sided. We each have eight, I think, or six. Oh, okay. okay. That's the other so thing. if I win the combat, I'm going to put my shrine out. Okay. Where am I going to put it? I'm going to look for which one we're on. So let's say we were in leaf and I won the combat. I would get to put this where the leaf guy is standing. And then the person that lost would move leaf man to a new location. Oh, okay. Anywhere they want. I was wondering about the map. Okay. Kind of looks like a root way of the panda map. So that's how you lay down your shrines. Mm -hmm. And the loser gets to move the elemental. Then the lore. Whoever wins on the lore, remember that's the actual values <laughs> on the card, not the weaponry, is going to take this. That's worth a point at the end of the game. Okay. The shrines are worth a point at the end of the game as well. Mm -hmm. But also, this is going to provide a value to help you win those elementals that are up there at the end of the game. Worth the person points. who has the highest value in green is going to win the three points for the green elemental. Okay. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So there's three of those. And who's the Haven Guardian? Haven't gotten to him yet. Cool. But I will in a minute. <laughs> if I don't, then you remind me. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you're going to get the lore token if you win the lore. Right. Next, if you lose both then you get to leave one of your Seekers out. These are the Seekers, don't forget. Right. If you didn't, then all your cards just get discarded, both sides. The next thing, if you control the majority of shrines around a haven, you're gonna claim it. Okay, so as we're doing this thing and we're putting these out, mm -hmm. you will notice the map is divided into these different areas. These are called havens. In this situation, there's three shrines around this haven. Right now, I'm controlling two of them. Even if your thing was here, there's no possible way you can get a majority over me because these are permanent. Okay. And I the, have the two. The majority is the connection you're talking about? Like, in that area? This triangular shape yeah, right here yeah, that's one. has just three shrines associated okay. with it. Okay. So in that situation, to have a majority, you just need two. So since I have the majority there, I would get to put my marker here. 
and that means I control that haven. The person who controls the most havens at the end of the game is the haven guardian. Gets to take the haven guardian. If there's a tie, no one gets it. That's the case for all of those. So the stone structure over here has four around it? Uh, yep. Okay. So there's four of those, so you would need to take three spaces in order to claim that haven. So this waterfall only has two. Looks there's like, one here. Oh, okay, three. Yep. There's none with two. I don't think so. All right. And there's ten havens. I was going to ask that, yeah. Out here. Ten havens available. If Ronald wins haven, then I win the giveaway. <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> you might win. He has a rules advantage. <laughs> Neither of us have ever played this before, so there's that. <laughs> Um, okay, you understand all of that? I think so. Okay, so then the last thing you're going to do before your turn ends is put an offering out. So you're going to take one of the offerings in your hand. Mm -hmm. You'll always have at least one because when you drew cards, you had to have at least one in your hand. You're right. You're going to put one out in whichever okay. one of these stacks you want. Okay. How? What is the strategy behind that? Remember, if there's a total of three offerings at any one of these places, it's going to get resolved during the next resolution. Hmm. So you have a little bit of control, if you have multiple cards in your hand of that, of where the next spot's going to pop. As long as you were lucky enough to get the three of the symbol of you But remember, you're going to get to draw two cards on your turn, so there's not that many cards. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then the last thing you're going to do on your entering turn is discard down to seven. Mm -hmm. And there's two different ways that the game can end. Mm -hmm. One is, if one of these elementals has no place to live and he's just off the board, Okay. That will cause the game to end. Meaning all the other places have already been yep. decided. Yep, yep. Okay. There's a there's a shrine on all the other places. Almost <laughs> never wins. He wins second Brutal. most. Hello. <laughs> I'm not bad. And you know what? Winning is not the most important thing. It's true. I, I play games because it's fun. And I get to hang out with my friends. Okay. <laughs> game ends. The other way it can end is if one of these stacks is empty. Mm-hmm. So that would cause the game to end. Okay. At this point. I'll have questions, but I think... So what's worth points at the end of the game? Uh -huh. This is important. We're going to... I told you how you uh, get those mm -hmm. elementals up there. Those are worth points at the end of the game. Um, every single one of your... These lore tokens. Every single one of your shrines. <laughs> and those... Omen. The reign of war. That's it. Yeah, I mean, they're in big, bold text here. So it seems like the majority of the game is this and paying attention to where these guys are. Hmm? The majority of the game is just battling over these elementals, where they happen to be. Mm -hmm. And so when they move, mm -hmm. the person who won the war decides? Mm -mm. How, who decides who, how they move? The person who did not place their shrine gets to decide where it moves. Oh. And it's a jump. It's not Anywhere a you want. Yeah. Okay. They started in random spots connected to the outside of the board. Gotcha. So I just stuck them wherever. I don't. Sure. I have no idea what the strategy is for this game. So right, I just right. put them wherever. Works. Um, and that's it. Now, there are uh, some advanced variants you can play with with this game. If you're all noticing there's some numbers across the bottom here and you're wondering what those are for, if you're on YouTube, I know you're, you're curious. Um, <laughs> that's an advanced variant. We decided not to play with that today since we never played before. But maybe next time. <laughs> do you know what it does? Briefly. Something to do with artifacts. Okay. Some more points somewhere. They're in-game scoring imagine. conditions um, that we don't know what they are until the end of the game. Oh, lovely. I don't mm -hmm. like those. <laughs> <laughs> There's like six different advanced variants you can play with in this game, so feel free to, if you have it, uh, try out different ones and let us know how it goes in the comments below or yep. in the chat. Thanks, Jesse J. I appreciate that. Mm. Slivers, let us know how it is. Yep. Two-player Omen Arena of War. Sounds very... Uh... Hey, hold on a second. Your Kickstarter arrived at your house, and you're watching someone else unbox it? Oh, you're unboxing He's yourself. Unboxing. <laughs> I thought you were watching an unboxing. I'm like... I gotta make sure how to open this if box you right. have it, <laughs> Why are you watching somebody else open it up? Yeah. No, you gotta make sure you open the box just right. Maybe it's a tricky box. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, let's hope the city wins. Because, you know... Go, city, go! Destroy right. those farm... Those forest yeah, creatures. Right. Steal their home. <laughs> These, uh, if you're if you are familiar with Ryan Lockett, you can tell he did the art for this game. It's really, really beautiful art. Like he's, I mean, I'm, he's one of my faves. That's in your hand, technically. Yes, it is. And um, there is a hand limit. Like I said, I think it's seven. 
Yep. Seven, yep. yep. I begin. Yep. The city always goes first. So during our first turn, we only take one action. You, yes. I will mm-hmm. be adding, or I get to choose, add a secret, remove a secret, there are none, or pl- pay, eh, play a lore power. And you don't have any lore. Nope. You can't remove a secret because there isn't one to remove. So the only option is? Adding a secret. Now you have one in hand, or you could go for rando. If you choose rando, don't Mm -hmm. forget, you have to select where you want to put it before you reveal it. Okay. Just to um, remind everyone, not me, of course, the number six is what we're going for. Yes. Correct. Do not exceed six. So in the future, we could be going for the number seven, or yep. we could be going for the whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think they're like maybe five to eight or something like that. Okay. Five to seven. They're well, in that range. I think I'll begin with, um, and the seekers aren't limited to where they can go. So I'm going to go here. It is like Rodney's favorite game. What, what's Rodney's favorite game? Kemet, right? Omen. A reign of war, I imagine. <laughs> Travis is busy. He's very busy. He was here last night playing oh, Twilight you know Imperium. How they were here? Fourth edition. I know they played for eight hours. Yeah, they were here until like two thirty. And they got here at like five <laughs> PM something. Okay. <laughs> they were playing with six players, four of whom had never played before. And Twilight Imperium can be a bear if you don't know the rules. Ha <laughs> <laughs> slivers of He's so this mean. guy that comes by every once in a while. So mean, so mean. Um <laughs> But yeah, eight hours of Twilight Imperium 4. And they wanted me to play at first. And I was like, I'm going to see who shows up. So I didn't want to play We played it. like six I play other games. I want to play it at four players. I don't want to play it at six players. Yeah. That's a little <laughs> yeah. rough. Maybe next time. Yeah, maybe next time. All right. So I have added a seeker. Now from I'm your going hand. To, what? From your hand. From my hand. The reason it's face down is because it's from his hand. Uh, now you are allowed to check that at any time. Okay. You're just not allowed to look at your discard. What does declare a lore token first? Oh, decide where I'm going. Yep, these are the Then lore from tokens. the draw deck or from the hand. I did it from, the, uh, from my hand. Yep. Now I'm going to draw two cards. Any combination of these three shown? Yep. One of them has to be this, though. Nope. You just need to end with at least one of those in hand, and right now you have oh, three. Oh, and I have plenty. That's right. So I'm going to actually... Indication. Oh, is that a game? I haven't even heard this? of it. Is it a Kickstarter? Let it, tell me everything, Terry Ambien. I want a lore card, or whatever this thing's called. Lore card? Yeah. Just because I don't have one. All right, Jesse, see you in a few minutes. There you go. Get them hearts. Get those hearts. <laughs> or are you just talking about in general, like someone being vindicated? I'm curious about that too. Okay, so we drew his two cards and now we would resolve. There's nothing to resolve, so we proceed on to the offering. Cool beans. He needs to play one offering card. One offering card. Yeah. Is there a value of this? Like, as far as getting to the six? No. What's the significance of them? When there's three of them in one of the st- right. stacks, on both sides added together, it's going to resolve in the next the next turn, person's turn. Well, let's do that then. Yep, just like that. All right. Orange Nebula. Okay, I'm into it. Then he would discard down to seven cards. We would check if we're at the get- end of the game. We're not, so we're going to continue on. Vindication. So now I get to do two actions. We like Euro games. We're going to be playing a Euro game later. Uh, not with a fantasy type theme, though. It's with a cow. Ooh, theme. I'm very in- interested in that. Yeah, we're going to be playing um, Fields of Arl. Yeah, it's a popular game. Though. Um, okay, I'm going to do I'm going to do a, a Seeker, and I'm going to do a Rando one, and I'm going to declare the stone. Okay. So he's going to come out face up. Ha-ha! Zero. Sky Sight! He's got a zero power, but he has good combat. So, but mine's face down, right? So you yours, chose it from your ah, hand, right? Ah, that's right, you're right, right. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to do another, add another seeker. I'm going to go ahead and declare this one again. Oh, because I'm first turn, I only, oh, okay, yours doesn't even say that. Yep, because the city player always goes first. Yeah. Got a leafling. Yeah, hey. Your people are so Some weak. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful art. I love it. Mm-hmm. Well, these just happened, I mean, I didn't shuffle very I... well. <laughs> <laughs> now I get to draw two cards. I'm going to take a lore card. You can join our Discord, and there's uh, lots of places to paste those things. Yeah, put it in there so I can find it. There we go. Um, and then I'm sometimes. going to draw a seeker as well. Oh, okay. Another one of those. Great. Now we would resolve. Uh, there are not three offerings in play, so um, I'm going to have to add an offering to the game. Yep. So I'm going to put out a green offering right here. Under the leaf. And 
it in. I would discard down. I only have six cards, so I'm good. Okay. And back to Jesse. So the first thing I'm going to do is play a lore power. Okay. I'm going to play a rock slide. Place this card on your opponent's side of any lore token and perform another action. Your opponent cannot place seekers on that lore token. I'm sorry, did you put it on? Yeah, that's a lore token. Nope, that's an offering. Which lore token? These. Okay, cool. Um, cannot place seekers on that lore token until they spend an action to remove this card. So let's put it on... Let's put it on blue. Let's have a rock slide in the ocean, I guess. I don't know. Okay. So that's one action there. And then I'll add a seeker. Well, it says and perform another action. Oh, and so I get two actions anyway. I, I think so. Yeah. So um, I'm reading that. Yeah, I'm reading that too. I will add a seeker from my hand here. And then for my other action, hmm, must I perform two? Because I honestly have no cards left. Because <laughs> I can't play offerings. I think you're allowed to just do one, but you must do at least one. Get up to two actions. Okay, I did one. You must take at least one. Definitely did one. All I have is offerings left in my hand. Jesse! Thank you. <laughs> oh, maybe links do work. That's weird. I thought I turned that off. <laughs> All right, because that's been abused before. Definitely turn it off in Melissa Sings. All right. We don't have as big so, of a right. population over here. Or we don't have as many trolls. We've had trolls before, but not as many. Troll -lo -lo -lo. So I'm moving on to draw two cards. Let's take. Um, I'm going to take offerings. One. Remember if it says play immediately? Play it immediately. And two. I was holding my cards. Play immediately. Okay, and that does count as an offering, by the way. And when you got that, you need to replace it with another. Another offering, specifically? Yeah. Draw another. All right. <laughs> okay, so then we would resolve. Right now, there's not three on any stacks, although two of them do have two, so those are getting close. Mm -hmm. And now he would discard down to seven. I do not oh, need sorry. two. You need to place an offering first. And you place an offering first. Mm -hmm. And let's do this. Oh, nice, Jesse <laughs> J. Um, okay, great. So then you would discard down, and we would check for game end. There is no game end right now. Okay. So next time this will be resolved. I mean, because there's three here now. Yeah, on my turn, it's going to be on resolved. Your turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So moving right along, I can add a seeker. I'm gonna add this seeker right here. And then I know what it is. Hmm. I'm gonna play a, um a lore power. That's what this is. A lore power growth Great song. song. Draw two cards or perform two actions. I'll do perform two actions. Wow. Some of the cards are specific to one or the other team, but many of them are in common between the two. Mm. So for my first action, I will um, lay down a seeker. And for my second action, I will... <laughs> Play a seeker from the stack right here. Oh, let me look at this. Yeah. Oh, this. I guess that's always an option. Because I didn't take a second action. I could always play it from the deck. Forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. 
You just have to select which one you want to play from, and you're going to reveal it. Because next turn I was like, ooh, I'm not going to have any actions to do, but yeah, I could always just do that twice. All right. So I'm going to choose the rock. Another sky sight. Boy, I have a lot of zeros. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. A lot of zeros. <laughs> Lots of zeros. See, mine's the opposite. Mine are big. Well, I don't know if mine are big numbers. Maybe it's we'll, just we'll well. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Okay, now I need to draw two cards, so I uh, just need to end up with one offering in hand. I already have one offering, so I'm going to draw a lore. Oh, that's good. And I'll draw a seeker. Oh, hey, hey! It's not a zero! Oh, shocker. It's, it's a one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's in. So now we're going to go to resolution. Mm -hmm. So this is the first time we're going to actually resolve something, so we'll go through this a little bit slower yeah. to make sure it's kind of clear. So since it's my turn, I'm the active player, we're going to go from left to right from my perspective. So we'd start with green. There's nothing. only two. We, then we would go to blue. There's nothing. nothing. Here we have three offerings. Yep. Even if one of them had been on my side, that would still be three, and we would still resolve it. So the next thing that we do whenever we resolve this is flip all the face down cards face up. On that one. Yes, on that one. To reveal what we have. How do you like all my zeros? <laughs> well, you have the arrows, <laughs> yes. but we'll see how that pans out here in a second. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see who has the most weapons. So in this case, I have Thank the most you. weapons because I have three. He has none. Mm -hmm. Now, if there had been a tie, we would see who has the most cards. Both of us have the same number of cards. So since there is still a tie, for weaponry, mm -hmm. the city always wins a second tie. Yep. Okay, in this case, there isn't that because I am a clear winner. So I get to place one of my um, shrines, and it has to go where the rock elemental is currently standing. Right here. That means since Jesse is the one who didn't have the most, he gets to put that wherever he wants. Hmm. Put it over here. Okay. Next, we're going to check the lore. So he has a value of four on his lore. I have a value of one on my lore. So that means he's going to receive the lore token. This thing. Yep. So you just take that. What's the point at the end? Yes, it is. And it's going to help you earn the stone elemental at the end of the game for three victory points. If you lose both, you get to leave one of your seekers in play. Otherwise, everything is going to get discarded. So if you lose both things. If you lose the combat and the lore... You get, you get to, to keep stay. one thing in place. Uh, but these guys are gone. Mm -hmm. The offerings are all gone, too. Offerings are all gone, too, into a discard face down. Mm -hmm. And you're not allowed to look at it. Can I look at it? You cannot. <laughs> okay. Okay, then we would check to see if there's a majority out here. There isn't, because I only have claimed one of these areas. If I had claimed one more, whether he's here or not, I would be able to put one of my uh, tokens here. Okay, now we're going to see what the next one is going to be, which is a seven. Okay. We need to focus more on chat. What, what, no, I think what about them? <laughs> we're pretty good at that. I think we're talking about there's not a lot of chat happening right this second. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you have a so question, that. feel free to ask, and we will answer. Um, if you control the majority of shines. Okay, so now that resolves all of that. That's done. So now I'm going to place an offering. I'm going to put an offering. Um, so we just did the resolve, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now you're going. Okay, and then so I'm gonna put my offering over here in the stone area. Uh huh. And then check for seven cards, which I only have four. So we're good to move on. Great. So now I will be performing two actions. My actions will be from the draw deck, playing face up, just to see what you I have do. to select where you're going. I'm going to the play. rocks. Okay. I think that rocks. <laughs> it might. Oh my gosh. Okay. You still want to go to the rocks with the next no. one? No. Because, uh, like I said before, it's important. Uh, if you go over this value, then all of your cards are going to get removed when it comes time to resolve it. Now, one of the actions is to remove a seeker. True. So even if you do go over, it's fine as long as it's not during resolution. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go to the leaf. Yeah, Whiskey Nick, I hate when that happens. Interesting. I wonder what I have here. Oh, yeah, a zero. 
So, I'm going to draw two cards. Let's draw one of these. Lore. And one of these. Seeker. And now we're going to the resolve step. Check it out. Nothing happens. It's not happening. So let's go to the offering step. And let's put it behind here. And call it a day for me. Discarding down to seven, but I don't. I'm going to start by adding a seeker from my hand into the leaf area. Mm hmm. And then I'm going to um, I'm going to play a uh, lore card. I don't know what Rowdy Rough Boys is. When I think Boomer, who's blue, I think Doug from Nick. It's a rainstorm. Add one to any lore token value and take another action. Keep this card in play until resolved. Wait, does that mean this value? Read it again. Add one to any lore token value. And hey, take another psycho. action. Yeah, I would think so. How would you show that though? Oh wait, it has a little blue thing next to it. Why is that? Because it's a water effect. They have leaf effects, water, and stone effects. But it says any lore token, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it might be one of the more advanced variants or something, but it doesn't matter for what we're doing. Keep this card in play. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll just put it next to whichever one you're affecting, I guess. So that's it's, wrong. It's adding one to this value, not to yeah. my, not to my value. More token. All right, I'll just I'll put it in play next to the um. Like yeah, if you're playing a lot of high cards, I'm thinking of Skeeter. You're right. Why did I say boom? I get to take oh, another I guess action. Er made me think of that. It's been a while so, since I've seen. <laughs> I will add a rando to the stone area. Oh, another one. How nice. <laughs> um. <laughs> The forest okay. creatures are weak. Now I need to draw some um, cards. I'm going to draw a lore and a seeker. Hey, now. What is that? That's a uh, boomer? Oh. I don't know that one. <laughs> it's not blue. Why isn't it blue? The guy who voiced Doug did the voice of Fry in Futurama. That's oh, right. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, and he also was Ren and Stimpy. Nothing um, to resolve, so I'm going to make an offering. Here's my offering to Waterworld. And I'll pass to you. Interesting. I only had one offering card in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> so let's add a seeker from here. Where are you going? I'm going to the green. Okay. Awesome. Then I'm going to... That's a seven? Mm-hmm. Let's play a card. Smelling salt. Inspect your discarded seekers and put one into play face down. Okay, so that lets you look at your discard pile. How about that? Put it here. I wonder what it is. I don't know. <laughs> Time will tell. This, discard it up here? Yep, face down. Just like that. So that was two actions for you, right? That was two actions. Now I'm going to draw two cards. Let's go for one of these. And... Oh, I don't know what... Oh, okay, I know what that is. Um, let's go for an offering. Okay. All right, next up we resolve, but there's nothing to resolve. Right. So now I'll play one thing. Okay. An offering. Discard down seven cards. I'm not there yet. Over to the nature people. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I have Discord here, if you want to post it on Discord. First thing I'm going to do is um, play a Seeker right here into the green area. 
The next thing I'm going to do is play this lore card. Mm -hmm. Double the lore value of one of your seekers in play and count it as two cards. Keep this card in play until it's resolved. I'm going to put it right here oh my gosh. on this third card. That's a lot of dings. So that's going to double that card. Welcome back. So is this supposed to be Ronald, you said? So that's my two I don't know if it actions. <laughs> oh, it's like a barbarian or like a, Conan or something. Uh, centaur's head. Okay, the, cool. The, the horns and stuff. Thanks. <laughs> I'm assuming um, that's wrong. And I can see you have a Mac or a MacBook. <laughs> it's Mr. Mr. Tumnus. Oh, okay. Do you know that? Oh, of oh, course, yeah. of course. Mr. Tumnus and Lucy. Yes. From that book. Yes, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. That's right. Chronicles of Narnia. Thanks. Very cute. I'll check that out uh, in more detail later. Okay, so now I need to draw cards, and I need to draw at least one of Double these. Double the lore value one of your seekers. Ah. Uh. And I'm going to draw another one of these. Oh, play immediately. Ooh. We're going to have a double result. Play immediately. Can we do a triple Play resolve? immediately. No, just one. Okay, oh, finally. Oh, That's right. Mm-hmm, that's right. That's right. He sure is. And I fawn over him. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, okay, <laughs> so I've drawn my cards, so now it's time to do resolution. So in this case, we will start with the green, because it's from my perspective, since I'm the current active player. So we'll start with the green. We'll flip all of the face-down cards face up. I don't think I added that up right. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, that's nine. Double the lore and count it as two cards. Oh, I meant Yeah, this yeah, you one. play it. As far <laughs> as I know, I guess you played it on the one you wanted to play it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I added it up so it would be exactly Four, five, seven. Six, seven, eight. Oh, that's eight. Maybe I meant this one. One, two, five, three, four, five, six, six seven. seven. That's the one. There That's we the go. Lady. Hashtag man. <laughs> Louisiana public schools, yeah. folks. Right. Um, okay. That's bizarre. Um, okay. <laughs> so let's go through this. The first thing is the weaponry. So I have only three weapons. You also have three weapons. Yes, I do. So in order to break the tie, we see... Hey, Joe. How's it going? Hey, Joe. We see who has the most cards on their side. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And you only have... Five. Oh, come on. Because this counts as two cards. <laughs> All right. So that means I win the combat. So since I win the combat, I get to put a shrine in the green guy's area. And you get to put green guy wherever you want. Ugh. Green guy. Did you hear they were here until like 2 something in the morning playing that game? Uh, yeah, yeah, they were here until about 2.30. 2.30. Hey! Da, 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 da. Ooh, Thanks an anonymous for the anonymous gift tier one sub, sub for Jesse J. Oh, four speaking months. of which, we get new uh, subscription um, emotes. Over the next few months, they're going to be adding one by one by one. Right now, I have a blank spot for one, so I need one. If you have ideas, post them on our Discord about what we can I do. I saw a funny idea this morning in Discord, actually. Oh, did you? I haven't yeah. checked it yet. Very, so. <laughs> very, very cute idea, actually. No. So, uh... But we should be getting, like, at least two more for Tier 1. So we already got our little meeple heart. Jesse J, there's no way that. to know what who was the anonymous person. But you could just say thanks. That's what we do. So, sure. in Vindication, you play a I think Slivers is AFK right now, so it of a could be anybody. washes up on the shore of an island that's teeming with magic. You must explore the island, gaining attributes and honor. I'm in. Can I come over and play? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Jesse J, check your hearts now. I don't know who... I know the anonymous gifter gets some, but I think also you get some. Yeah, you may have like gotten some selling. hearts from that. Yeah, so check that out. I'm not quite sure how the whole system works. I just know there's... It's for everything. It's like a Stefan Feld game. So next we're gonna check the lore value. So for me, I have seven, and you also have seven. Uh-huh. So to break the tie, we count the number of cards. So in this case, oh, come I on. have one more card than you do. <laughs> so that means I win the lore. So I get to take this. Dude, and one more card than me. 
One, two, three, four, oh, five. Oh, right, six. because you counted as two cards. Gosh. Okay, in October, I'm coming over. Do you live in the continental U.S.? <laughs> uh, I okay. There's something about me, like, winning the weapons ties or something. Yeah, the second tiebreaker. Oh, the second tiebreaker, that's right. Yes. If I didn't have that out. Right, right, right. Yeah, you would have won the, the I would have won a lot more because I had seven. <laughs> yep, okay, yep, so I lost both yep. things. That's right. So that means that you get to leave one of your cards in play. One of your secrets. Mm. Like that four, since you keep bringing mm. her back over and over again. I haven't seen a four on my side. I just have threes, twos, ones, and zeros. Well, there might be a four in there somewhere. Going in the trash. I think I'll keep the, uh, the trash. These are going in the trash. The one. I need some weapons. Shreveport? I used to live in Shreveport too. Yeah, yeah. that's right. I did not proud in of it. In the early years. This is going to go away. Origin story. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you left the one in play. Mm-hmm. Huh. Two swords. Oh, okay. I get that. All right, so then we'll go over here to uh, the ocean area, and there are three offerings here, so we're going to need to resolve that. So Jesse's going to flip his card over. He is going to win the combat because I'm not here. That's right. So he gets to place his uh, shrine oh my out gosh, on finally. the water guy right here. And I get to choose where water guy is going to go next. Water guy is going to go here. Okay. And then we're going to check the lore. I don't have anyone here, so he wins the lore by default again, meaning he gets to take this token. I moved him here. Yes. Okay. I don't remember doing that. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't. <laughs> so you'll take that lore token. Got it. Um, since he won both things, I get to leave a seeker in play, but I don't have any secrets in play dog. there. So nothing happens. Oh, so it didn't add hearts. Bummer. It didn't add hearts. For oh. the gift sub. Well, he's got 20 hearts now. Well, he had Hit 20 zero. hearts for watching so far. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, these are gonna get trashed. That's gonna get, these are gonna get discarded. Right. This, as far as I know, does not get discarded. As far as I know, it continues to stay here until, yeah, until such time that I do something. Until satisfied the thing. This one, we only have two uh, offerings in play, so nothing's gonna happen here. All right, so that's I finally think, the end of that I think resolution. think Terrence was AFK whenever you said you, your origin story began in Shreveport as well. Yes. it. I'm not proud about that, but yes, <laughs> I did live in Shreveport for like 13 or 14 years of my formative years. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so, so share not those so uh, Shreveport so stories. Not so much. <laughs> um, so I'll play out an offering here in the green zone. Stationed at Barksdale. Oh, well, I went to school at Cattle Magnet High School, which is very, very near to Barksdale. <laughs> I don't know where these places are. Caddo Parish is where Shreveport is. Whenever I go through Shreveport, I take that little loop that bypasses most of it. Yeah, and then I go to Dallas. Oh, so you didn't go to Shreveport. You just drove through Shreveport. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> I passed it by. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Um, so that's the end of that, and now I'm going to discard down, but I only have two cards. So drive by an airport or something like that. And that loop. 3132. I'll take your word for it. That's what I use. All right. When I drive through. So it's my turn, adding Seekers and other stuff. Yep. I learned to play Legend of the Five Rings in Shreveport. Do they have a gaming community there? I, haven't, I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't go back. <laughs> 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 it's like four hours away, and it's Shreveport, so. I'm going to play a card from my hand here. I'm feeling generous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play a face down card here. Face up. Face up. That's right. Oh, weak. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a forced creature. All right, now I'm gonna draw a combination of cards. Let's do one of these. I've driven through a few times since I left, but I left in like 1997, so one of these. it's been like 20 years, so I, I couldn't tell you much We're about gonna it. I'm going to check for resolves. Nothing resolves. I'm going to play a lore token now. Offering. Offering, whatever. Mm 
We always use the exact right <laughs> words when we play games. We never are just like, give me that yellow thing. Right. There you go. <laughs> What's the worst one? The worst one is Century Spice Road. It's like, give me that green cube. Give me a brown <laughs> cube. It is. No one is like, oh, I would like a cardamom, please, and I'll exchange for some cinnamons. Yeah. No, no. People are just like, whatever. I thought about buying those little glass vials that have, like, you know, you can put your own powder in or whatever. If we played it more. We don't, but the thing is, we don't we don't play anything enough to merit that. Right, right. It'd be a cool thing though. I we like to we like to keep it changed up. It's like thirteen bucks. That's not that much. All right, and then you buy the colored sand and you put them in there. Thought about this. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, I see that you're uh, gonna bust this area up over here. Yes. Where I only have one person, so. Yes. I'm trying to do it before you build up there. I'm gonna bring out another person there. Think. Oh wow! And I'm gonna bring another person out there too. I mean, what's the highest number I could possibly? You're get? right. You're right. The highest number I've seen is a four. I wonder if I have five. <laughs> Did the game even? Should start I check it? Should I try? Oh, I would really hope a. F well, actually, a five. Yeah. A five would no, be too much. I think we looked at it earlier. Four size. Unless you had a five, I looked at mine and it was four. Oh, I didn't check mine at all. I think they're probably. Okay, I'm right gonna there. take one then. Mm. A tree horn. Yep, five, six. Okay, good. I'm not quite over. All right, next thing. <laughs> draw two cards. Gosh. Yes, I would happily draw rough. two cards. I'll draw this one. I think I gotta let you do the offerings. That way, I have the advantage of reacting. Because it doesn't seem like I can react. Whoa, that seems epic. Did the game even start yet? Yes, it yeah, did. Yeah, the game started. Definitely. And so far, Ronald is winning. Uh, am I? You have two tokens out and a lore token. I have a lore token and one token. Okay. Well, it's kind of somewhere same, in the middle. Right? <laughs> somewhere in the middle. <laughs> we don't know. We don't, we don't know. We have never played this before. Right. Um, okay, I'll take another card. I'll take, ooh, I'll take another lore. These are just too good. They are good. What? Some of these cards are really good. <laughs> Okay, so that's the end of that. I do have one of the um, things, so I'm good. Okay, so now we're going to go to the resolution step. Um, we have one thing to resolve over here. My cards are all <sighs> face up, but you're going to have to flip one. Oh. Rats. Okay. You got lucky with that middle guy. I that did. song. Because most of my people are not good at fighting. Yep. So I have four combat, and you only have three. So that means I'm going to win the combat, and I'm going to put my dude here. Why are you so vicious? Sorry. <laughs> Here, could you put him somewhere else, please? Uh, all right. You're putting him out. Yeah, I'm putting him out. Okay, you decided <laughs> where to stick him. Wait, where? Did, what happened? <laughs> okay, now we're, gonna, for a second. now we're going to compare lore values. So I have six, and you also have six. Yeah, check out Brick. The tiebreaker is number of cards. So I have five cards, and Jesse only has three. So that means I win the tiebreaker, meaning that I get to take this token. Now, since he lost both things, he gets to leave one of his people there. I have to discard all of mine. I don't know who these people are, though. I don't either. We're I don't too know old what any of for it stuff is. like Sorry. This. Like, even that art style. It, we were born in the 80s. It's like a Powerpuff Girl. It very much reminds me of Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, that's that's the closest thing we got to that. <laughs> Thank you for the drawing. We just they, don't know who they are. Maybe yeah. if you could draw um, one of the Powerpuff Girls. Draw a Ronald. Great. Oh, don't draw me. Please don't draw me. Okay, you get to leave one of your guys in place because you lost. Because I lost so badly. Yeah. Well, I'm leaving the four. Okay, good idea. Now, I do uh, control the majority of the shrines around yeah, this haven right it. here. So I get to put my leaf <laughs> right here. Hey, okay, leave him alone. They are from so, Powerpuff Girls, she says. Oh, oh is that still a thing? <laughs> We didn't know. We never. I haven't really ever watched it. Maybe like twice. I remember there was this evil villain. It was like a devil that talked like, talk like this. Hello, girls. And his name was him. Oh, you guys I, remember I, that? I honestly, never watched it. I watched it like one time. And it was also uh, Mojo Jojo. I am Jojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo is my name. My name is Mojo Jojo. He just keeps repeating himself over and over again. They need to be. <laughs> we resolved them and forgot to flip this over. Oh. Well, then. Okay, so that's done. So now I need to put out an offering. I only have one offering uh, card here. So I will put that in the blue area. 
and then discard down. So that ends my turn. I'm sorry. We don't. I. I. We recognized it as being Powerpuff Girls. It's just we don't really know that show. I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah. Remember, we recognized your art style though, so you nailed it. Great job. Great job. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna add a seeker face up from here to here. All right. Hey, a zero. <laughs> Look at that. Just the like you. The forest is pushing them back, y'all. Let's see. Stay off my lawn. <laughs> Basically, what this game is, right? Yes. Stay off your, <laughs> stay off my long game. All right, I'm gonna do it again here. Okay. Ooh, you're very fighty. I am very fighty. Is there something that happens when this deck runs out? I mean, it's not close. Yep. But. You will get to shuffle uh, your discard pile and make a new stack. The exception mm -hmm. is the lore cards. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the lore cards don't get shuffled. I'm gonna take an offering. And a lore card. This game is from 2018, if anybody is curious. Yep. Does that mean Jesse has a hundred there now? A hundred where? Oh, because of the one zero zero? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am 95 Correct. over my target. Correct. <laughs> All right. Um, so we resolved. There's nothing to resolve. I got to place a lore token down. Let's put one on the rocks. There we go, so everything has one. And I have five cards in hand, so now it's Ronald's turn. I don't go for know it. about the drawing the card thing. Drawing the card thing? Mm-hmm. What the card thing? The lower powers are not reshuffled. Yep. Oh, that. Okay. The other stacks do get reshuffled. I knew I remembered. I learned a lot of rules this week. <laughs> so I'm like, what was the rule on that? <laughs> okay. So, my turn. Yes. Look at these swords I have. So many. Good luck. I think I got this one. I think you do too. So the first thing I'm going to do is use an action to clear this. Because I, I can't deal with this. Get thee behind me, Satan. <laughs> oh, you're doing this? Okay. It's clear. Get it's out. clear, so it just gets discarded into this pile. Get out and stay out. Well, this is not here, so someone's going to sing. Right. Okay, next I'm going to play the Rejuvenating Fruit. Rejuvenating Fruit. For each lore token, declare and draw one Seeker face up. For each? Oh, what a great time to play it. So I'll choose green. Root song. Root song. Blue. Lore boar. Lore boar. <laughs> and... Brown. Another lore bore. Oh, all of my big ones were at the bottom of the stack. Well, there they are. Yeah. Only all one right, has so a weapon. So that's two actions for me. Mm -hmm. um, so now I'm going to need to draw cards. I don't have any offerings, so I need to draw an offering to start. Ooh. Uh, okay. And then... I don't have a lot of these Seekers left. And... I don't know how close the end of the game is. Board Game House! Yeah. <laughs> it's it's strange. I'm the resident rules lawyer. In fact, I have this shirt that says teacher, teacher wanted. wanted. I'm on it. Rules lawyer so lawyer I'm, a little, I'm a little bit like, I'm a little bit crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that number's uh, up to 94 different designs right now. Those shirts are really cool. So we're cool. six away from 100. Yeah. So I gotta think of six new designs. <laughs> okay, I, I ended up taking one of these. Um, and now we need to do resolve step. There's nothing to resolve. So mm -hmm. move on to offering. I'll place my offering out right here. Mm. And that's it. I only have three cards, so we're good. Hansa Teutonica. I have never played that one yet, but I would like to. I've played it. Really? Yeah. How did you get to play that one? Chris brought it over once. Oh, I wasn't here that day. No, you weren't. Dang it. <laughs> I'm going to play... Oh, yeah. I'm going to play... Tree walking. Declare a lore token and draw two face-up secrets for it. I'm gonna do it for blue. Okay. Come on. Okay. Hey, hey, a metal mage. And ooh, another metal seven. mage. So that's resolved. Severely mm -hmm. underrated. Yeah. You like that? Uh, the cover art is pretty gruesome, but the game is pretty good. It's a euro game, right? Yes. A lot of those euros, I feel like, kind of just fall. 
b between the between the cracks because people don't have a chance to play every single euro that comes out. I'm gonna play it. Oh, I can only play one lord power per turn. Why can you only play one lord power? It says per turn? limit one per turn. Oh. <laughs> I don't think you've done it, have you? I don't think so. Post in the comments below if he has. <laughs> Who knows? So <laughs> I don't think I did. I'm going to play a card from my hand. Oh, I'm not supposed to look at those. <laughs> yeah, I could have sworn you said that. I was trying to see if I cheated or not. By cheating. Ah, <laughs> well, actually, technically, we'll, those will never come back, so. But it doesn't. <laughs> Sorry. It doesn't make it right. <laughs> asterisk, asterisk. I'm going to play a card face up. Here. Okay. What's the worst I can have about four? Oh my gosh, come on. I mean, yeah. at least it's adding to You've got four cards. Mm -hmm. 50, 50 hearts. hearts. Wow, that went up fast. <laughs> yeah, it does. Is it weird that I'm more concerned about my heart rank than spending them on tickets? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, here's the cool thing. Like, the last person who won our last giveaway, which is his Feminite, which I don't think he's here today, or if he had, is, he's just lurking. He uh, had a ton of hearts, and yep. he uh, spent... Pretty much all of them buying tickets, so the next week he had like none. <laughs> but now he's back up. He's back. He's because, back. you know, he visits us frequently. He's usually here, yeah. Uh, so now I draw two cards. Because there's, uh, yep. Let's go for this. Um, then let's go for... Yeah, this game says 45 minutes on the box. Offering. Of course, we never played before, so... I think it's going something. over. Okay. We did the we did the teaching as well. Right, a little time. Right, right. The explanation of the ticket system and right. all that. So uh, Nothing you, more you, fun you have at ticket least system. one of these in your hand, right? I do. I okay, have good. Two. So now resolution. There's nothing to resolve. Nope. And then an offering. Hmm. Okay. Discard down to seven. I'm at five. We're good. Go ahead. If you stream times. They need to include if you stream times. If you stream times. Joe, explain. They need to include if you stream times. If you stream times. Take your turn. <laughs> He'll make it clear. Have to figure out 30 minutes. Yeah. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play the Misty Gateway. Oh, yeah. It's about a 20 to 30%. They should put that on the box. If you're streaming, it takes this long. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> move one of your seekers or exchange two of them. So I'm gonna move my root song over here. See those? Yeah. That's they're power puff. They're girls. very, very power puff girls, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Um which we don't watch and have never watched. And then I'm going to play a um, a Seeker face down right here. And now I'm going to draw two cards. I need to draw at least one of these. Right. And I'll draw... Um, Instagram Fuel. Another Seeker. Okay. So I'm gonna be shuffling my seekers up. Okay, so now that we go to the resolve step, there's nothing to resolve. And we will move on to the offering. I have one offering card. So I'm gonna play an offering. Um, What's up? Yep, here. <gasps> That's gonna burst. And that's the end of my turn. I'm used to looking that way. Today I'm looking <laughs> this way. Very confusing. Let's do... Um, I'll add a seeker. Which one? Yeah, we can... Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Well, let's do... Many thoughts. Let's 
So we play board games every Saturday, Monday, and Wednesday right here on Twitch. If Do you one, haven't man. already, hit that follow button so you can come hang out with us. That's right. I feel like we do have to remind, because some people won't do it to the very end. They're like, oh, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, and we have tons of videos on our YouTube channel. All of our videos from Twitch get loaded onto there. Yep. You can go back and watch them. Some of them are very entertaining. You can go over there and hit subscribe for iHeartBoard Games All of them YouTube are. channel. Most of them are. <laughs> Don't go back too far in time. <laughs> We've become more um, professional as time goes on. How about that? I'll play this on this. I'm guessing it stays out. Add one weapon to each of your seekers at, on that one lore token. Okay. And that's, that's two cards I've played. Now I'm going to draw two cards. Let's draw a yes, seeker. Yes, the Charterstone campaign was so oh, good. But there's spoilers, so if you haven't played Charterstone yeah. yet, check it. play the game first. Unless you plan not to play, then go watch. Yeah, I was telling another streamer, I was like, man, I wish we could forget that game so we could play it again. Yes, I know. <laughs> it was so great. Um, so now let's move on to Resolve. Okay. Looks like it's So we would have to Resolve happening. left to right. So for him, we would start over here. Nothing here. Nothing here. We have three. So this is going to Resolve. So first we flip over our Seekers that are there. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is compare our... Uh, Yeah, Jesse J, correct. <laughs> um, here he has more uh, combat than I do. So he wins the combat, so he gets to place his... Thing. Um, what is it called? Shrine out. Yeah, that's cool. The shrine is going to go oh, to right here on green. We actually have a link now. YouTube.com slash iHeartBoardGames with an I. And now I get to choose where to stick this, so I'll put it right here. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do is compare the lore value. So we are tied on lore values, but he has more cards, so he's going to win. So in that case, he gets to take this lore token. That's the first double win I've gotten. Since he won twice, I get to leave my seeker in play. That's pretty cool. Which, that's my best seeker in my entire deck, so I'm happy. <laughs> Feeling glad I got sunshine. Let's who sings that? Let That's us know. Amazing. If you recognize that, tell us in the chat who that was. It wasn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag 90s. Or All right, so was that was resolved. Now yep. I get to play an offering down. Mm -hmm. Let's throw an offering on this one. The Wattas. The Wattas is about to... Hey, a bunch of people know. Oh, yeah. Gorillas. They even got the Z right. Correct. Snake for the win. Joe the Snake. Yes. <laughs> you remember Jake the Snake? Yeah, Jake the Snake Roberts. Yeah. All right. So what am I doing? Oh, I'm He's gonna still alive. I'm gonna add a <laughs> still alive. Oh, when it oh. comes to wrestlers, old wrestlers, it's you know not many. You have um some sketchy stuff going on. Do I? Yeah. What's this thing do? Adds a weapon to each seeker there. So you'll have four, four weapons. weapons. Hoping that's enough. So I'm going to lay down a seeker from my hand right here on the water area. Let me just check that value again. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. East 17. I was alive in the 90s. You know, I was a teenager 17. in the 90s. So. I don't remember East 17. What'd they sing? I don't remember that either. <laughs> no one's heard of them, Jesse J. Got to remember, Jesse J lives on the east side, over the pond, as they say. Oh, oh, right, yeah. So you know that reminds me of a band called The Streets. They were British. Yeah. Um, not everyone knows them, but most do. Uh, Just not most of us. Most of maybe Americans. <laughs> yeah. Wait, isn't Jesse J from Australia? No. England. No. Uh, German, Austria? Oh, right, 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 right. Other Europe. Mid Europe? <laughs> or they call it, I guess? I don't know. Other Europe. <laughs> other okay. Europe. Um, and then for my other, I'm gonna. It's a European. Europe. It's no European band. Oh. Picked up the new Backstreet Boys. I'm gonna take a seeker and add it here. 
Hey, there's those owls again. When Backstreet Boys first came out, this was like yeah, before boy bands, I guess, were blowing cards. up, or right as they were blowing up. These. I was like, this ain't bad. This is catchy. I didn't realize it was like and then one of these. not a cool thing for a male in his teens to be a fan of. I mean, I love pop music, so. But everyone likes it now, so guess who was right? Hello. <laughs> Oh, wait, it's a British band. <laughs> yeah, because we don't know. Yeah, we're here in the United States. We're very Americentric. We don't know international things very well. We're pretty bad at that, usually. So, sorry. So, the first Backstreet Boy CD, I did buy. That's right. Good. Excellent. Yeah. I mean, came... I was an instinct guy, personally, but, you know, I won't judge. I think my mom had that one. <laughs> okay, so we're going to resolve the blue area here. Mm. So, first I'm going to flip my card over. Next, we're going to compare weapons. Now, he has a special ability here. Yeah. So, he has five, four weapons, and I only have three. So, he's beating me. So, he gets to place out his uh, temple shrine. On the water guy. On the water guy. And I get to put the water guy wherever I want. Um, we got a big battle going on right there. I don't know. How about over here? <laughs> um, next, we're going to check. Welcome to Musical Confessions. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald, what confession do you have? I used to love Garth Brooks when I was a little kid. Uh, I listened to Garth Brooks from all the time. I, 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 I like listened to that cassette. I had the like head with the little Walkman. <laughs> I would listen to the Thunder Rose. I was, <laughs> yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> okay, we're comparing yes, more we're values. Lincoln Park. Mm -hmm. Played yes, that a yes, lot yes, on yes. Um, Melissa Sings. R.I.P. So. Um, we yeah. both have the same value when it comes to lore. Mm -hmm. So we would count up who has the most cards. He has four cards, and I also have four cards. So in this case, lore, in the second tiebreaker, the forest always wins. Bummer. So that means I get to take this thing. <sighs> It's my third one. Now we each have one of each. So one of each. Yeah. Very close game. And we have three tokens out each. But you um, have an actual leaf out. At this point. At this point. Okay, it's these are going to get... Soon. Both of us are going to lose all of our cards because both of us won one thing. And then I need to make an off. Uh, we need to see if there's a majority now, which there still is not, as far as I can tell. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of highly contested areas. And now I need to put out an offering. So I'm going to put that out here. <laughs> and You're then up to 65 in, what, an hour and 20 minutes? Back to you. I mean, that's pretty good. Are we playing Bubbly, bubbly Pop in just a few minutes? And we will be doing a giveaway during Bubbly Pop. Over to me. And it's a much faster game, by the way. <laughs> yes, but also I haven't played it. So... Um, it's, okay. it's Tetris. <laughs> Dual-sided Tetris. Which is really hot right now, because that new Battle Royale Tetris came out. Oh. You know that? Tetris no. 99? Mm -mm. All right, so I'm going to play this on the blue. Okay. Oh, wait, look at green over there. Oh, I'm going to play it on blue. Piston Patrol. I am out of cards here. Yep, so you get to shuffle up some new ones. I had MC Hammer in my little tape recorder that I would play <laughs> all the time. But when I got to middle school, that was when the like the disc man came out because CDs started becoming a thing, and I was like, CDs, that's not going to become popular. <laughs> Cassettes are where it's at. Cassettes are never going away. Right. I was like, if you like CDs, you're dumb. Like no one is ever going to like they a get CD. They scratched. And look, I was right. People don't use CDs today. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> but I had the. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I don't think I can tell it. I'm done. What? Uh... <laughs> I can't tell. I can't tell. Oh, you want to know what the first CD I ever owned was? So sad. For so CD. shameful. The first CD I ever had. I remember my first CDs, but go ahead. Mine were not that shameful. The first CD Mine I ever wrong. had was Beethoven. Oh, there you it go. It was like three of Beethoven's like full sonatas you're, all the way you're through. You're so... Uh... I had to buy it for school. Oh, okay. It wasn't because I wanted it. <laughs> I remember where I first bought my... I bought two CDs. My first two CDs I bought from Blockbuster. What's Blockbuster? Blockbuster is a uh, cassette VHS rental place uh, from the 90s that is no longer in existence. 
I knew I was just kidding. I know. But some people don't. <laughs> I love that when we look at each other, we're looking right. off camera. Some people don't do that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah, my first two CDs was first one was um, Oasis. What's the story, Morning Glory? Which was their first release. Yes, Taryn Bune. And the other one was Alanis Morissette, Jagged Little Bill. Yes! Yeah, I'm not ashamed of those. I had that one, yeah. <laughs> and then later I saw her in concert. Uh, when I was like in 10th grade. My Jagged Little Pill story is that I bought this. No, I, I got as a gift a book of piano oh, wait, sheet music. we need music. to reveal this. Because I, I played the piano. I had a sheet music book of like modern age nouveau music that someone bought me as a gift. Which I totes did not want, by the way. Mm. But on the internet, back in the day, this yeah, was in like the around. 90s, okay, you could like go on and find people who would trade with you. And I found somebody who wanted this book, and he or she had Jagged Little Pill, Alanis Morissette sheet music book. So we decided we would trade, and I gave this stranger on the internet my address and my name, and I mailed him or her this book, and she or he mailed me the book back, the other book, and we made a trade. I just can't believe it actually worked out. No one got murdered or like duped or <laughs> catfished. So I need to play another one of you. Uh, yeah, um, Pearl Jam. See, my dad. Weird Al. My Shit. dad had it's Counting Crows, shaggy. so I was covered on that one. And Journey's Grace is okay, well. But Counting Crows, I still the first time ever. Counting Counting it was a Lion King soundtrack. The first CD I ever bought. It was one of the awesome first concert CDs. was Weird Al. That's awesome. I don't remember what my first concert was. My very first concert was Cowboy Mouth. I was like in sixth grade or something like that, and they were playing in downtown Baton Rouge. Oh, you know what? I think my that's first Louisiana concert. Band. I think my first concert was in 1999. Mm -hmm. It was. Well, that's way uh, my it was a summer thing, and it was in Dallas. We drove all day to go to Dallas. It's an eight-hour drive from here. It was in the stadium. It was from noon to midnight. <laughs> Serial killer. Yeah. There were five it's acts. Right away your skin. The the headlining act was Metallica. Oh, that's right. You're and the opening acts band. were Kid Rock, Corn, System of a Down, before anyone knew who System of a Down was, and some Power Man something or other, Power oh, Man yeah, 5000 yeah. or something yeah. like that. He was a weird dude. People <laughs> were doing drugs all around me in the stadium, and I'm a total goody two-shoes. I did not mess with that <laughs> stuff, but it was all around me, and little did I know, I got contact high off of these people, and I was right. like, Corn, yeah! Didn't even know who Corn was. Oh, this is my draw. Whoops. I'm supposed to show that. <laughs> I didn't see it. Okay. Wait, no, that wasn't my draw. It's I did the play immediately. Yeah. You drew, you got that play immediately, and you laid it down, and so then you have to draw a replacement. I think I did something wrong. What's wrong? Because I think this came from the deck, and this came from the deck. Okay. Those were your turns. So I don't think I was supposed to even play this. No, those were your two actions. You revealed secrets as actions. Then you're going to draw two cards. That's the next step. That's what it was. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I don't so, like corn. I just was at their concert and everyone was smoking pot and I got high and I was like, yeah. So that was my first draw then. Weird. So my second draw, I'm going to take this. Stabbing Westward, Candle Box, and Monster Magnet. <laughs> the Family Value Store, DMX, and Limp Far Biscuit. Behind. Whiskey Nick, I'm learning so much about you today. <laughs> Wow. Rough Riders! <laughs> you know, um, corn is the German word for grain? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't know that. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Ich bin in Ausland, und sprechen Sie gut Deutsch. Ich verstehe dich, was Sie sagen. So I'm going to place one of these here. And that's my turn. Man, that was a long turn. <laughs> we got off track. We, we, pulled a a, we pulled a Melissa. Gin Blossoms. Yeah. Um, okay, so you were just speaking doing? some German, huh? I did. But that's it. I mean, I can count to 12. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm curious if anyone here speaks German. If you do, I would like to know if you could understand what I just said, because I learned that in seventh grade, oh, and George I may be Strait's saying it's Farewell. quite wrong. The last concert he went to was George Strait's Farewell Tour. Because it's different now. Yeah, yeah. It's really different. You want to go to a DMX concert? Toad the Wed Sprocket. First I'm going to rock. Then I'm gonna roll. <laughs> I used to listen to DMX. Okay, I'm gonna add a seeker from the stack. That was good German, though. Who said that? Jesse J. Ah, you speak German. 
I think it's Deutsch? exclusively, or, you know, English second language. Okay, well, okay, Murder great. X. I mean, I learned it in seventh grade. That was in, like, um, <laughs> 1994 or something. So, not too bad for the retention. That was a pretty good teacher, I'd say. I said, um, I'm a foreigner, I don't speak good German, and I don't know what you're saying. Oh, that's the one thing you should learn in that's every language. That's what I know how to say in German. I a don't know German, and I don't know Rob what you're saying. Zombie Rob Zombie, oh my gosh, you guys. Y'all. Uh, and the okay, I'm going to do babe. this here. I'm mm -hmm. almost sitting in the car waiting how for nice. me. All she heard was, lady, show me your titties. <laughs> What? Pretty far. I think she I'll do another that. one wow. here. <laughs> That's the one thing she heard. <laughs> okay, That's now funny. I need to draw two cards. I gotta draw one of these. Should have went and enjoyed the show. See what all the cool kids are up to these days. And you asked if I am German and if I speak German and that you don't understand what I'm saying. Oh! Well, see, I don't even know what it is. I'm oh. <laughs> Oh, I said, uh, I said, sprechen Sie Deutsch, which is like, do you speak German? And then, ich bin Auslander und sprechen Sie Deutsch. Ich verstehe dich, was Sie sagen. Ich bin Auslander und sprechen Sie Deutsch. I do not. Ich verstehe dich, was Sie sagen. Hmm, I don't know. It's something like that. <laughs> I think I can... If you want to speak French, we'll do that. No. I can speak French all day. Um, I'm going to draw another <laughs> card. I'm going to draw another one of these. What's your first action? I already did all my actions. Oh, okay. Well, I revealed two cards here oh, okay. from, gotcha. in the, from the stack. Um, is it Kleine Sprechen Sie Deutsch? I don't know. I would love if you would really speak good <laughs> German. but I, It may I, take a few years. That's all I know how to say. <laughs> Why would I learn how to speak German? I'm not from Germany. <laughs> I learned French. You could read Sorry. more old books. <laughs> Maybe if I met Stefan Feld, I could have a conversation. But yeah, instead, I'd just be like, Ich verstehe, was Yeah, pretty much. If we go to Essen, that'll be the main thing we say. Okay, resolve. <laughs> There's nothing to resolve. Offering. I'm going to lay out an offering. Right? Yeah. Right. And I'm done. All right. So we got two offerings ready to explode. Um, kapow, kapow, kapow. Kapow, kapow. 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 Let's play a seeker to the water. Okay. Five. That's a fiver. The only German I really learned was how to order beers. I could order up to three at a time. <laughs> I think that's handy if you're in Germany, right? And let's play... The word for beer in French is bière. It's very similar to the English word, so I think if you were like, beer, beer, they would understand, probably, in France. Plus, most, people, most French people speak English these days, so... Baguettes and croissants. Pretty good words to say in France. <laughs> Those will get you some mighty, mighty tasty treats. Hmm. Let's play a card. Face down here. Okay. And now draw two cards. Draw two cards. I'm gonna take one from here. And one lore card. Then, resolve, nothing resolves. Mm -hmm. Gonna place a lore token down. You mean an offering? I mean an offering. Add a matching lore token. There it is. Mm -hmm. Everything's ready to pop. That's it. Ready to pop. I think that's the way to play this game. You gotta let the other person do it so you can prepare. So you feel like you have control over it? Yeah. That's right. George Bernard Shaw. We don't stop playing because Shrei we don't. Bye, bye, Zinvita. Grow Me too, Hefeweizen, please. Yeah, that's a quote from uh, Civilization VI as well. Oh, I remember that whenever you unlock gaming or something like that. Oh, Time Roller. Welcome to the chat. Yeah. Glad you're back. Whoops. That's what you usually say. Oh, yeah, whoops. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> I'm going to learn Hebrew and Japanese soon, and hopefully French as well. When you learn the French, you can practice with me. There but you my go. French is, is wavering. It's been a few years. How would you uh, say, I am a foreigner, I do not speak French? Um. Je suis un étranger et je ne parle pas français. Now, whenever you're holding out the je, is that like uh? It sounds uh, like actually it. in fr <laughs> French people would say <laughs> like that. Wow, they even have different ums. 
<laughs> They're like an E-U-H-M would be like, um, um, that's kind of the way they say it. Uh, what is that? Je ne parle pas au français. That's not good French for I don't speak French. Oh, okay. You would want to say je ne parle pas français. The O there is unnecessary. You wouldn't say that. Je ne parle pas français. I don't speak French. Oh, okay. There you go. First mm -hmm. lesson. Yeah. <laughs> And they would run all the words together, just like we do in English. You may not realize it, but we slam all the words together into one big long phrase and right. without pausing in between them. They wouldn't say je ne pas pas français. They say je ne pas pas français. When speaking. Yeah, but I mean, writing it out. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Writing it out, you write like that, yes. Yeah. Yes, I will I will do that. Okay, I'm trying to take a turn, and you guys are so <laughs> distracting me with things I love. So <laughs> let's go. It's let's the Twitch effect of playing board let's games. Let's go. Just imagine how it's going to be at Fields of Arl. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> That's going to be a mess. I learned sign language as well. Hmm, that's, that's different Melissa for every country. Some. It's yeah, different that's for true. every country. So we have ASL, ASL here. I mean, England has ESL. I thought that was Spanish. ESL is English as a second language and also English sign language. Oh, okay. Same acronym for two different things. How fun. Um, I'll like, put this kind of concept. Here. This is Haven, but you already know that. <laughs> but in case somebody was wondering. Haven. And I'm, I'm thinking I might want to do this, if this is even a good idea. I'm not sure, because I can actually do things out of order if I do this. Mm-hmm. It's just a question of, do I want that? I could look at this, right? Yes, you can look at that. Okay. What is it? It's a uh, five. Uh, I wish I knew what was in there. <laughs> what did I put? Where did, what did you look at? That right there? Yep. There are no fives. No, there's not. That's why I said five. What is or are your favorite donuts? Apple fritter. Do you like those? I like all. I like all. As long as it doesn't have coconut on it, I'll eat it. Oh. Like a German chocolate? Yeah. Uh, scrape that chocolate. Scrape that coconut off of there. <laughs> Melissa, one of Melissa's favorite stuff. Cake is like German chocolate cake. Which has coconut. 95 hearts. So we were d determined it takes about an, an hour and 40 minutes to get 100 hearts. I don't know what the breakdown of that is. Coconut donuts, nah, oof. You know what, I'm just gonna draw. All right, and then draw, oh, I don't get to just draw. That's not a thing I can do. <laughs> I was like, what? I'm gonna just do one action, and then I'm gonna draw. Really, you're not even gonna play a face down one. You're scared? No, I don't wanna play any of these. Okay. This, and then I'm gonna draw another, yeah, that's what I meant, I'm just gonna proceed on. Okay. Here. Now we resolve, if possible. No, now it's I not have possible. to. Oh, sorry. Yes, you're right. Now I'm going to uh, lay down an offering, which I forgot I was going to have to do. Right. Fantastic. Um, oh, so it'll pop on my turn. But I get yeah. the chance to respond. Kind of. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Well, I mean, no matter what is going to happen. I had a way of preventing it. Wow. So I, there's some lore cards there that I'm not sure about. No, you wouldn't have this. This is something to do with nature, and you're all about civilization. I've noticed, like, some lore cards are the same as what you've played. Right, but the names are, like... Yeah. Maybe it has the same ability, but it has a different uh, name. So where do I want to pop? Where do I want to pop, you guys? Green or blue? Blue. I would win the combat in blue. True. All right, I'll go for blue. Oh, but you're going to get a play! <laughs> I'm gonna go for green. Uh, okay. I think my favorite favorite coat, like if I have to like pick just one donut to survive, and all the other donuts are not ever gonna be an option anymore, it would have to be just like a plain glazed donut, because that's just like perfection. But I love filled donuts. We have a place here called District Donuts from New Orleans. They have these filled donuts that just are so good. They have all different crazy kinds. Every time so I go there, they're not fresh. But I don't go in the morning. That's probably why. <laughs> I don't even care. We usually oh. buy them one day and eat them the next. And I'm oh, just wow. like, yes. Donuts <laughs> will make it so you will not survive, Ronald. That's for sure. I'm going to perform a lore action. I'm going to play Path of the Vines. Draw three Seekers and place 
one face down at any lore token. Put the others at the bottom of the draw deck. Oh, so one, that sounds two, good. Three. So I'm gonna look at these and play one. Sasha Tort, yeah, I love it. Face down here. I want to eat a Sasha Tort right now, please, or a soccer Tort, excuse me. Mm, coconut donuts, nah. Blech. I agree. So I've played a lore, to lore card. So I cannot play another lore card. Um, I'm going to add a seeker. Pie or cake? Let us know in the chat which one you prefer. Pie or cake? I will what tell you mine. I think you play both, please. I'll have them all. <laughs> I'm a pie guy. As long as it doesn't have coconut, I'll have it. Oh my! What to do? What to do? You're about to throw a rando out? I'm about to. Ooh, suck it, suck it now. Yeah. Hope you don't bust something. Yeah, I know. Okay, we've got one vote for cake. And we've got one vote for pie. <laughs> Jesse also said pie, so that's yes. really two votes for pie. All right, rando card here. Drum roll. Digga, 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 digga. Wow! That's a big one! Eee, okay. Well then, awesome. Draw two cards. Let's draw two cards. Let's make sure one of them's this, and we're gonna take a lore card, because um, those are cool. Which pie or cake is your fave? Oh, oh, Joe says cheesecake. It's kind of a pie and a cake. Uh, Agreed. See, actually, that's one of my least favorites. It's one of my least favorites as well. Yeah. Did you, oh, you no drew two cards? cheesecake at this table. Yes, I did. I drew okay. uh, the middle and the lower. We've got to resolve now. Yes, we do. There's nothing here, nothing no. here. We're going to resolve this one. This so one. first, we're going to flip the cards face up. A zero. Mm -hmm. Well, fortunately. You got exactly seven. Yes, Lucky me. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is look at I was combat. Acting. I've got three combat, and he has five combat. Five, Hashtag counting. Like Five. That's how you say five in German. Right. Five. <laughs> uh, so he's going to win the combat, which means he gets to put out his shrine on the, on the green leaf guy. guy. Leaf guy. Sweet. Okay. That means I get to put this wherever I want. Looks like I get to put a gear out, too. You will get to in a second. You oh, my gosh. I get to put, put it, it out, now. two. Or three. No, two. We got two triangles mm -hmm. here. Well, this one has four. Oh, I can't but see you can put that one. Guy. You can put. Uh, oh no, not this no, one. Not that you can one put either. one there. Yeah. Yeah, I was just joking. I invite I. The fump Zek is even off more game. Like most fruit pies. We used to have a good fruit pie maker in New Orleans, and then their factory burned down. They came back. Oh, they did. Hubbings? Hubbings? Yeah, 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 that's the one. Oh, yeah. But no one talked about them after they came back. Okay, so <laughs> now um, we're going to compare lore value. So he has seven. I only have four. So he wins in that category as well, which means he gets to take this token. Gimme, give gimme. Give Since I didn't win anything, mm -hmm. I get to... I heard they were back. Oh, that's the same guy that was left last time. Yeah, I'm going to leave that? him there again. Wow. He's not very good. Uh, he keeps well, losing it's battles. just that you have way, way, way more stuff there. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm going to leave that it. lore bore there. Yeah, I didn't know they were back either. So now would be the time that he would actually check and see if he has a majority. He or does, German so words. he gets to claim his haven. His haven. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zwei, zehn, elf, zwölf. That's as far as I got. <laughs> okay. That's 1 to 12. So what number is this? That's a 6. No. In German. 6. Oh, pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got to put Wikipedia a... Wikipedia says it's not back. Ooh. Oh, sorry. I heard they were rebuilding. But just so. not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Let's do um, here. Over to you. I do not have 7 cards. I have 5. It's a close game. I think I've taken over the point lead though. Yeah, because I have four tokens. 
And for these tokens as well. You can move them just a little bit to the side and they'll be able to see them. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put them up here. So I just have three, he has four. He also has more shrines on the board than I do, so he is probably winning. I'm gonna write down numbers we'll in see. German and you have to guess them in English. Ooh. Oh gee, this is gonna be a mess. <laughs> Trivia time. Why don't I give you numbers in French and you have to guess them in English? How about that? <laughs> guess them in German. My turn. I'm going to... So Power Ranger Jenna can count in German. I would win. I can count in German. Oh, good. Well, then you can guess the <laughs> answers, because I have no clue. I will play I'll guess. a card into this area. I'll be wrong, but I'll guess. Or more. I'm going to play this Summoning Orchid. Count this card as one offering of any type. Keep this card in play until resolved. Count this card as any one offering type. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's like a wild. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's going to pop. Yeah. Interesting. Um, and then I'm going to... Oh, that's a cool card. Well, that's what you were talking about before. Yep. I'm going to flip this at random in the water area. Come on, zero. Well, at least I got the lore there. Yep. Um, okay, so that's going to be the end of that. I'm going to draw two cards. I'm going to draw one of these and one of these. Huh, this sounds familiar. Um, now we're going to resolve. Um, the only one that's going to resolve is going to be water area because this counts as an offering. Mm -hmm. So first we're going to check combat. I have three and he has zero, so I get to place a shrine Bummer. on the water area. And Jesse gets to decide where to put that. This is water. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, it kind of does. Let's go, um, let's go up here. Oh, God. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Um, I thought you were going to start with something simple first, Jesse J. <laughs> you gave us, like, level 99 first try. The third try. one is 100, right? 100, 100, 100 has got to be 100. Yeah. Jai Zane. 500. Ak Zane. Ak Zane, 800. Zex und Wirzig. 1,000. Wir und Zexig. 100. Drei Zane. Ak Zane. Zwanzig. Purely guessing on my part. Uh, so, we put that out. These go be 13, away. 18. Oh, wait, wait. I get the lore token, right? Yep, you're going to take the lore token because you are you have a higher value than I do over here. These all are going to get discarded. Oops. And since one of us each won one, um, hmm. we don't, nothing happens with that. And then the next thing is um, an offering. Yeah, offering. Put an offering here. Shrisen is 13 or 30. Jaisane, oh. 30 oh, the and then one. like Oxane, is that 80? 46, 64, 130 is Jaisane. Okay. 46, 64, 130, and I don't know the last two. Hmm. Well, it's got to be 80. Ox if if oh, Jaisane right, right, right. is 30, Oxane's got to be 80. Oh, 18. Oh, 13 and 18. I extra wrote them in the same order. 46, 64, 100, 13, 18, 20. <laughs> I mean, I don't know any of them really, but that's my guess. Oh, that, hey, that's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. So it's over to me. You played an offering where? On the leaf? Mm hmm. Over to me playing Seekers. Let's do some rando Seekers on the leaf. Um, it's a tie! Sure is. Let's do... I think Jesse J put those in there just because he wanted to hear me try to say them. <laughs> Let's do another rando guy here. Okay. Draw two cards. Yep, yep. I'll take this one. And... 
I'll take the other one. So now we're going to resolve, but we don't. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to play an offering right here. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Okay. Um, first, I'll I'll have to write down the French numbers, and you have to guess. Why don't I just say them? You guess. <laughs> yeah. How about that? Uh, I'm gonna put down a. There's no easy way for seeker right, right here, there, and then I'm gonna do the path of vines. Draw three seekers and hey. play one face down. Sounds familiar. <laughs> At any lore token and put the others at the bottom of the deck. How many places do we have left to fight over? I think we're at all not the, a lot. Just like one I place that's see. unclaimed. Yeah. Yeah. If he gets wow. if you get ready to move one and he there's no place for him to move, he goes off the board, and that's one of the indications that the game is about to end. Yeah. Yeah, because it says, remi no, not that one. Oh, that's cool. It has reminders for when you resolve a lore token, but we've been doing that. I'll put um, this here. No one's busted yet. That's and something. these are going to go at the bottom of the draw deck. So at least one here. elemental has left the board, or all lo lore tokens of one type have been claimed, which we're not close to that. Right. Right, right. Okay, mm -hmm. then I'm gonna draw two cards. So I'm gonna draw. Um, I'm gonna draw a seeker. And a lore card. Snap. Okay, your first uh, French number that you have to guess is. Um, What's the offer card you're playing? Offering? Oh. <laughs> Offering card. Here it is, right here. Um, this one. Okay. Hmm. Count to cease. Count cease. Make a guess in the chat what number that is. Um, Whiskey Nick said the Seafall mod is good on TTS. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Is TTS ticket to sale? Not my ticket to ride? Yeah, ticket to sale. I'm going to have an earthquake. Reveal all of your opponents, face down seekers in play, and then perform another action. Okay. Let's see what I'm working against. Oh, wow. Hmm. So that's one per turn, but I do get to do two more actions. They just can't be lore because that's, I would say that's one. Mm-hmm. So let's play. Oh, Jesse J's got lags. Sorry. We're not, it's not us. <laughs> no, for once it's not us. For once, yeah. Even though it's really storming outside. So many more here, birds and stuff. Oh. Let's play. One off the top here. It goes face up. Yep, I know. I'm just doing it for dramatic reasons. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> Lucky me. And um, let's do um, let's play another card. Uh, let's see where are we? I'm gonna do this here. I hope that's a zero. We'll find out. <laughs> All right, so next up, I'm going to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. One of, I don't have any in hand, so one of them has to be this. And um, let's make the other one. Oh, one of these. What? I hope it's not a play immediately. It is. <laughs> Heart of the cards. I replace it. All right, just count down to seven. I uh, well, not yet. We got to resolve because I was drawing. Oh, so now we resolve. <laughs> <laughs> that one. <laughs> okay, so 
<laughs> I don't think either of us was like quite ready, ready for this. this. No. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, so here we're gonna check combat. He's gonna win the fight, so he gets to put his token out. That's actually really good for me. On the stone place. Yeah. Just like that. That's gonna. So that lets quiet. me put this somewhere. There's only one place to stick it, so I'll put it here. So it looks like I have a majority here. Oh wait, this is tied. Yep. So I definitely have that. So tied's just nothing or what? That's right. Okay. Um, then we're going to check the other thing, lore. That's going to be for me. So I'll take this. Yippee-yay-yay. Yippee-ki-yay-yay-yay. Yippee-ay-yay-ki-yay. <laughs> now speaking of yippee-ki-yay, did you watch Mass Singer? Yes, I did. Yeah. Yes, I did watch it. Relevance. <laughs> I don't um, know. Yeah, I need to stop making both of them talk whenever uptime goes up. Nightbot and Stream Elements, they both want to feed information out. I see, I see, I see. Okay, so I'm going to draw... Uh, oh, that's still your turn, right? Do you think you're going to play the actual Gloomhaven app when it comes out? So you're going to still my turn, yeah. We yep, just did play resolve. an offering, yeah. Now I'm going to play an offering. Which, uh, oh boy... Well, um, let's do this. Go ahead. Um, okay, I'm going to put out... It's <laughs> two hours, it's not a short game. What does the box say? 45 minutes, I think. 45 minutes? So there's been some minutes. distractions. Some... Yeah, we've been talking to you guys, we've had yeah. teaching. We're almost done. <laughs> Uh, um, everything takes longer when we're here. It's true. Yeah, there was a 20 minute derailing earlier about music and pies. Um, <laughs> Donuts. Mm. Shreveport. Mm -hmm. um, I'll put yeah. this out right here. And then... Put what out? Oh, there. Okay. Tabletop Simulator. That's TTS. Mm -hmm. You know what? Actually, I'm going to take that back. Okay. I'm not going to do that. Instead, mm -hmm. I'm going to play a lore card. Has anyone tried Tabletopia? And how does it compare? Declare a lore token and draw two face-up seekers for it. I choose Leaf. Um, okay. One... <laughs> 90s Music and Pies, the audience has spoken. That's the new channel. I uh, heart 90s Music and Pies. Oh, I see. So that's your first action. Mm -hmm. Your next action. My next action is going to have to be the to, first time. to dismiss something. Oh, we, are, we already know what you're dismissing. I'm guessing I'm dismissing the three, right? Yeah. So I can make exactly six. Try Tabletopia a long time. So that's Immediately get my money back. Up. Ooh, it must have been bad. Snap. I'll stream y'all play this in 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, that's that's the problem. Okay, so that was uh, that. Lore good move. Card. And then the second was to discard. You got lucky move. with those draws, but yeah, good move. Well, I mean, I knew there were going to be two of them, and I'm like, well. I was hoping two zeros. <laughs> gotta, I, well, I was hoping for zeros, too. I mean, those would have worked out, because then I wouldn't have had to discard one. Uh, <laughs> eh. I didn't expect a three to come out, <laughs> and that I would be discarding it. Okay, anyways, oh, right. yeah. draw two cards. I gotta draw one of these. Um, Is it immediate? Mm-mm. Okay, so what's your next act? Next draw? Another one of these. Is it immediate? No. Now we're oh, gonna oh, move to the resolve daddy. step. Okay, resolve step. Right here on green is gonna resolve because we have three giveaway. offerings. So we'll flip over Jesse's card first. Got a whole lot of time to the giveaway. So yeah, our lapse time, just over 10. Only, Only one, one is entered. entrant so far. But we're going to check that out in a, in a little bit. Yep. As soon as we start taking this down and setting up the next game, Jesse can check all that stuff. Yeah. All right, so Jesse's going to flip his card over, see what it is. It's a zero with nothing on it. Just yeah. helps him have more cards. Yeah. So first we're going to check combat. I have five. He only has four. Got yeah, lucky with that draw. So I'm going to win on that. Bummer. Which means I get to put this That's in huge. the green area. Is it? I don't know. It's something. I don't think it is. 
You get to put that side. somewhere. Oh, he just goes off the board because there's nowhere for him to stand. Okay. Um, so that means I won this one. Mm hmm. And I won this one. Mm, no. No, you're right. <laughs> Let's say no. Well, Dag Nabbit. <laughs> this is not going well for me, guys. <laughs> Okay, next thing is we're going to check the values for the... Lore. Lore. Tyler. I have six, and you also have six. So then we check who has the most cards. He has five, and I only have four, so you'll win I'll that. I'll take that. I mean, there wasn't really a, even a chance. So um, that's done. So then um, since each of us won numbers. one, these are all going to go away. Only one victory point apiece. Go. Offerings gone. Okay, so before. that's that. Fair, fair. I just wanted to open it up. Okay, so now I need to place out an offering. I'm gonna place an offering here. Mm -hmm. And next is the end of my turn. Now this says if at least one elemental has left the board, the game is gonna end. Oh. And one elemental has left the board. So let me just make sure here. If one or more elemental standees have been removed from the board, or if all lore tokens of one type have been claimed by players, the game is over. See, end of game. Okay. Mm. So we're going to add up our final scores. So the first thing we're going to do is call on the elementals. Call on the elementals. So first we'll call on the leaf elemental. Jesse has 300 and I have 6, so he's <laughs> going to win the green elemental. Green elemental. For me. Okay. Next, we go to the water elemental. I have seven, and he has 11, so he's going to win three more points from the water elemental. So the water elemental for me. Yep. Then we're going to move to the stone elemental. I have 13, and he has six, so I get to claim one. And then the haven guardian is going to check who has the most havens, and I can't see the whole board very well, but it looks like there's three gears and only two leaves, so you're going to take that one for five points. Just to a moment of rules clarification, if there had been a tie in any of those, we wouldn't, no one would have gotten it. That's what would have happened. Okay, the Haven Guardian has awoken and gone to the person with the most Havens. Now we need to count up our points from lore tokens and shrines. Each lore token is worth one point and each shrine is worth one point. Mm -hmm. So I'll get four, five, six points, plus three is nine. Okay. So I get three, four, wait, what are you counting? One, two, three, four, five, okay. six. Oh, sorry, uh, that's not quite right. <laughs> it's not these. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh -huh. 10, 11, 12. So I have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Plus another 11, 22. 22. That means Jesse's the winner! Yay! Look how I changed the coloration. I know, because thanks, thanks uh, Logitech for not making that a setting we can change. So that is Haven, and Jesse is our winner. Just barely by 20 points. <laughs> Just barely. It was really close. No, I actually did feel like it was a so, close game. So look at the, uh, the d distribution. This is very important. Like, we have the same amount of tokens, but it definitely it was in my favor having... My positioning, I guess. Where you put them yeah. is important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool deal. Yeah. That, just barely, though. You know, that's, um, that is really important. I think this is a really well-balanced two-player game. I felt like it was a constant push and pull. Mm -hmm. And, like, at any given moment, you could be, like, turning the tide in your favor with a big move or something. Yeah. Um, so, interesting. And remember, the city always goes first, and the forest always goes second. So today, what happened is the city... All right. What's claims, the story? Claims the forest. And, yep. Yeah. Fern Gully loses. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the city expands and destroys the forest creatures. Yay, just like real life. <laughs> <laughs> and there is actually, like in here, um, if there's a tie of the number of points, then you add up the values on all these tokens. And if there's still a tie... <laughs> yeah, that's right. Pay paradise <laughs> and put up a parking lot. Um, Ooh, bop, bop, bop. I don't like that version. <laughs> <laughs> if there's still a tie, it says the two zones live learn to live peacefully. 
and there's a wow. It's just sheer victory. Yeah. Impossible. 